Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the mid-season for 2036-2037. We have been around the first spot for a, quite a long while, so battling with Tottenham all the way through the, the best part of the season. And um, yeah, so we're doing okay. I'm a bit surprised we are in first to be fair. But we seem to be doing really well this season. For the champions, we actually were first for a long time in the league stage. Uh, but the last two games we lost, so that dropped us six points down here to 10th place. Was it lost or maybe drew one? Uh, let's have a look. Lost? Oh yeah, we drew. So... So, from the start, we spoke when I played against these guys. And then, uh, yeah, so we won against Sevilla for that. Then we went on to win against Juventus. Drew with Rangers. Went against Common Half. Um, against OM. Uh, Marseille. Uh, we won on penalties with Millwall for the Carabao Cup. Da, 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 da. We got our second leg. Yeah, second leg for Tottenham for the semi final. We Tottenham for the semi final. We won the first leg. We are still in the FA Cup. Yeah, we are. So, Bournemouth was the last match that we had with the FA Cup. We're going to play Manchester United for that and um, so yeah so we're doing well uh, we're gonna play Brentford for the knockout stage of the champions hopefully we can get past them they're 12th at the moment in the premiership compared to us and the next match is against Newcastle who are currently 15th so finance wise look at this massive gaping hole I bought two players which to be fair I gotta admit, I don't really think I needed them, but I bought them anyway, um, which might have been a little bit of a mistake. These two, 20 million each. This guy is a defender left, which some of the players have been nagging that they wanted someone new for that position for a while. And I did get him. He's not very good though. He's maybe marginally better. Uh, I'm hoping he will improve a little bit in the future, but he's not very good. Papa Camera, and yeah, he's, he's really good for our team. Um, but again, we didn't really need them because we had. They are currently down here because I couldn't sell them. Uh, Martino, who was arguably only slightly worse, uh, but he's younger, so he's going to get better with time. And then for the left side, he's actually playing as a center. He's um, Zach Kruther. Who's maybe slightly better, better than um, the guy that we got, um, Marco? Especially when it comes to physicals. But um, yeah, we'll see. Take a punt on those two, and we'll see where it gets us. So at the moment, still on course for everything. Still on course for the FA Cup. Still on course for the Carabao Cup and the Premiership and the Champions. So we're good. We need to find some money somehow, somewhere. Uh, that is the main thing, really. Dynamics-wise, nothing really changed. I need to find a new captain. Probably this guy will get promoted to captain. Uh, but I won't worry about that today. And yeah, uh, we got one injured goalkeeper. Gonna be away for another month yet. Yeah. Possibly, and also Velinov is also injured for a long time with a broken foot. Um, okay, let's jump into the match. I've already organized a team. Look at this. Got green lines everywhere. This is what we'd like to see. And hopefully we can get past Newcastle fairly easily playing at home for this one. And, um, yeah. Now, let's talk about FM 2025. 
the forums have been going crazy uh, with people giving their opinions. Um, I honestly just think we need to wait and see. Um, it's it's a little bit of um, disappointment when they release the the you know the pre the pre-order stage without actually giving us any gameplay footage, which is I think a little bit taking the mic, but uh, people can just wait. The pre the, the the discount is supposed to be up until the day it releases, so you can just wait. You don't have to buy yet. You're not going to lose the 10% discount. You're still going to have the 10% discount up until the day before it gets released. So let's just wait and see. Yeah, wait and see. Obviously, they're making the women's football the biggest feature at the moment. I think that's because that's the next thing they're going to talk about. So they, they're going to hype up the next thing they're going to talk about. It's a marketing thing. So they're hy hyping up the, the fact that you, play, you can play women's football. Obviously, that took a lot of work because women, women, women's football was probably the majority of the work they had to do for this game. So, of course, they're going to hype it up. Um, yeah, just wait and see, people. Wait and see. I think it's going to be okay. It's obviously, obviously going to be a simpler game. And that's because they had to redesign the whole game. So, of course, they're going to just stick to what they believe to be the core minimum features and then some features that um, they had time to develop and anything that they didn't have time to develop um, they're going to push that back to other years so yeah I'm not completely happy about it but I'm not as mad and as angry as some people are on the forums but everyone obviously reacts slightly different to these things um, I think it's going to be fine, and I'm happy to wait and see um, the next few weeks just to see what they release. I'd like to see some um, gameplay, though, before I commit to the game. I'm obviously going to buy it, because I think... I don't think it's going to be so bad that I'm not going to want to buy it, if you see what I mean. It might, it might, but I don't think so. I, I also think it's going to be possibly quite similar to what we have already um, if you're used to playing something like uh, F Formula One manager or those kinds of games that's probably gonna be the type of UI that we're gonna have for football manager so a little bit more intuitive especially for people who hadn't played haven't played football manager before at the moment I still think it's intuitive but probably because I grew up with it all my life so are buttons the buttons take you to a section of the game and it looks like a spreadsheet or like some sort of data table most of the time and it's probably not going to be that different changing it from something that looks like a spreadsheet to changing it to something that looks like boxes with data is essentially the same thing right so camera Let's go, let's go, let's go. Actually, do I need to change it? No, I don't. Let's, con let's continue. I don't need to make any subs just yet. Let's go for it. Sorry, just bumped the mic. I'm actually a little bit nervous here. The Newcastle seems to be attacking. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Zupo, come on, you had that covered, surely. annoying. Uh, let's put da, 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 Kamara on. Uh, wait for the other two. Three. Slap three. 
Yeah, so I, the only thing we don't know about is whether it's gonna, there's going to be a beta. I still think there will be. Um, um, but I might be wrong. In any case, I probably will still play it when it comes out, whether it's in the beta stage or not. Wow, I was not expected to be beaten by Newcastle. To be fair, they have been dropping performance the whole, well since the winter transfers. I wonder if that was uh, maybe the other two guys were key and I hadn't realized. I don't know. I'm not as I'm not as happy with these transfers as I normally have been in the past with my winter transfers. Um, I think they were needed, but mm, maybe I could have gone without and kept the money. I don't know. It's not that big of a jump in ability for anything. So, right, we'll bounce back from this, I'm sure. And I'll catch up with you in the next episode, which will be at the end of the season. Let you know how I've done in the Champions, especially because I'm quite excited about that. But also, are we going to win the, champ the, 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 the league? I'd love to do that before FM 2025. So, yeah, we'll see if we do that or not. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And I'll catch up with you in the next one uh, in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye-bye.